everybody's alive. There's no murder weapon. As a matter of fact, there's a woman sitting somewhere who knows this whole thing is a lie. Who knows I never did anything to her. Who knows I never, who knows she begged me for help. There's a woman sitting somewhere who knows that I'm going to her whole life up when this is done. Joining me now is Katie Fang, host of the Katie Fang Show on MSNBC. I think we're both SMHing. This was her mugshot. The other thing she said in this live is that she practiced this, <laughs> that this was purposeful. For two and that she hours. Wanted, mm -hmm, she wanted to look like this. Yeah. Mm. I'm just going to mm. let you talk, Katie, because I, I, I'm not a lawyer, but I know that was dumb to do an Instagram live and basically threaten the witness maybe again. Go ahead, talk. So when I was a prosecutor, Joy, I used to tell juries, I can't promise to give you a smart defendant, but I'm giving you a defendant. And that's Trevion Cootie, right? She's not a smart defendant. None of them can be smart if they drank the Trump Kool-Aid and helped Fair. in a conspiracy to, to do what they did, right? But Trevion Cootie, you, you mentioned it in the setup, right? The one possible out she may have is that she didn't actually refer to Ruby Freeman by name. But we're not stupid, and neither is Judge McAfee, and certainly not DA Fonnie Willis. And so the reason why I say that is Fonnie Willis could seek revocation of Trevion Cootie's bond status because her bond conditions that Cootie stipulated to, meaning she agreed to, is that she's not allowed to threaten, intimidate, harass any victim, any witness, any co-defendant in the case. Um, but what's problematic is she posts on social media as well. It's not just Instagram Live. She posts on Twitter as well. And so she's just inviting more trouble. And she is, a, it's, it's an indication of a systemic problem that we're having with these co-defendants in Fulton County, running from Trump to Harrison Floyd to Travion Cootie. They don't keep their mouths shut. They're <laughs> making the case easier for Fonnie Willis. Why? Because why would Trevion Cootie be threatening somebody if she didn't think that there was some exposure to her if that person opens their mouth and they testify? The other stupidity that comes into play with Trevion Cootie, as well as Harrison Floyd, they're being prosecuted as a part of a larger RICO conspiracy, but she's being prosecuted for threatening Ruby Freeman. What does she do on Instagram Live? Threaten Ruby Freeman. I mean, it's consistency. At least I'll give her the gold star for that, but I'll definitely give her an F for intelligence when it comes to dealing with a criminal prosecution.